hey guys so give me just one second I literally just walked in the house and I totally forgot that I took my rings off and I like to have my rings on but anyways um so I'm gonna not have I was getting a bunch of emails but anyways I am kind of excited because I'm going to be doing a little makeup haul because I went to Ulta twice. Um, so I'm actually going to show you guys the stuff I did not purchase at Ulta. This is stuff I purchased from Dollar Tree, which is why I'm not wearing makeup right now. Um, maybe I'll film a makeup tutorial tomorrow, but I didn't wear makeup today. So anyways, this is stuff I picked up from Dollar Tree today. So I was actually really excited to see this. This is the Flesh Thick Stick Foundation by Revlon um, in the shade 14 Butter, which isn't the best shade for me, but I'm totally okay with having to work with products like this because this was like $15. dollars mm. My mom even got one for herself, which this honestly isn't that bad of a shade, I would say. It might be a little, it's a little dark for me, but I, it's the lightest one. I can't believe y'all paid fucking $15 for this when it first came out and all you guys got was this. I feel so bad for you guys. So I was telling my mom, I was like, dude, this is like, this was in the high end section at Ulta. For fifteen dollars, and now it's at Dollar Tree for one dollar. So, yeah. All right, other stuff. Um, picked up this hard candy, matteholic velvet mousse lip color, but I couldn't find the shade. Probably because I need to open it, and the shade it says is spider orchid. Um, wait a minute, I'm confused. Okay, so I think that they have this color in this because this is the color Spider Orchid was in this one, but this one looks more purple where this one works more brown. They might be similar in shade. I don't know. People raved about this shit when it first came out at Hard Candy. And now you can get it from Dollar Tree. I have like four of them that I got from Dollar Tree. But this is Mataholic. So maybe it's the same shade. But it's a different formula maybe? Who knows? Because that says Mataholic and this says Velvet Mousse. So I don't know. But these little tins are super adorable. I'm not keeping them because... I got a baby, I don't need to hoard shit. <laughs> Y'all, I spent so much money today, like, I don't need to spend no more money, but I probably will. But yeah, I mean, I figure, like, why not? Ooh, these smell so good. I'm really excited to watch Tati's new video, um, where she talked about the makeup that she loved last year while she took her time off. I also found these at my local Dollar Tree. These are the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid by the Color Sensational Lips. Um, I have shade 48 Wicked Berry and 45 Vivid Violet. And it's kind of like, these were like $8 when they first came out. So Wicked Berry. So it's kind of like, you know, for a dollar. I'll bring back the purple lip. I don't care. And this is 45 Vivid Violet. Yeah, I'm also kind of thinking of posting this video today, the 22nd of June, because, um, I don't know, just why not? So this is something I picked up from Food Lion. It's the St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Green Tea and Bamboo Scrub. You know, I didn't need no more skincare. I picked it up, and I also got this stuff from Walmart. This is the Clean and Clear Lemon Gel Cleanser. Um, I also got the Clean and Clear Lemon Zetsy Scrub because I was wanting to try these for a while, and finally I decided to bite the bullet and take bite the buy the stuff. 
and I got the Clean and Clear Lemon Exfoliating Slices. I used to use the Clear Cell cleansing pads, but I ran out of them. So, yeah. Now, this is what I'm super excited about. I'm going into my Ulta bags. I'm getting my change out. But I'm going into my Ulta bags to show you guys what I bought. Now, I am going to have to go back because I did not get the whole collection. And this makes me so sad <laughs> because I love prints. Um, I love prints. I have Prince's movies. I have decor for my house for print. That's Prince style. So when I saw the Urban Decay X Prince makeup collection, I have to support it because I just resonated so well with Prince's music. You know, there's always like somebody that you like who you might not like one of their songs or a couple. I love every single one of Prince's songs. His music just resonated so well with me, which is why I wanted to support this because I'm such a huge fan of his. So well, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the one thing I'm not that the most excited about, and this is the um, liquid highlighter. I'm keeping the packaging, but I am going to, I have opened all this, but I kept the packaging, and I will continue to keep the packaging. So this is what it looks like. It's just a liquid highlighter. I'm going to use this stuff, maybe not the palette. But I am going to use this stuff. I love liquid highlighters. It's a giant liquid highlighter. It is gold. I was a little concerned that it would be too dark for me. But it is gold, so I am excited to try that. Um, something I'm actually going to be using tomorrow is the multi-tasker brush. I'm trying not to rip the boxes. This is literally the only box I've ripped and it's made me so mad and I don't know why I keep ripping it. But this is the multitasking brush. Um, I'm not really a fan of the fact that it has a hole in the middle of it, which I'm not even sure if you guys can see, but there's a hole in the middle of it that's supposed to like help you evenly apply product. I don't know how it's going to help you evenly apply product. But I am super excited to use this. And it's got prints on it. And I'm going to be so pissed off if this comes off. Just saying that. Because this was $28. And I don't buy high-end brushes. Literally. Like, this the only reason I bought this brush was prints. Like, that's sad. But that's true. I'm missing two things. I'm missing the eye pencils, which I will go to a different Ulta probably Thursday, to see if I can find one. This is the All Nighter Waterproof Setting Powder. So, I'm super excited about this because it's got the Prince Insignia on it. I love that. But anyways, um, it didn't say a shade, but kind of looks like it's a medium shade. I don't even know, really. Is this supposed to be translucent? I don't think it is. I don't know. I don't think this is a powder I can use, but I'm going to try it anyways. And I'm keeping the compact after I use it because it's got Prince's insignia on it. Like, why not? Also, can you guys let me know if you've tried Billion Dollar Beauty? I saw it at Target today, debated buying something from it, and didn't. Because, I don't know. I don't know, just let me know if you guys have tried it and what you think of it. This is the palette. This is one of the palettes. Um, why is there not a difference in names? Okay, forget it. These are the two palettes. I actually purchased this one first because of Purple Rain. I loved it. Then I went back and purchased this one. I'm keeping them in the packaging. These were $55 each. Lord help me. So... Um, what was the deciding factor of purchasing these palettes? These. And it says Paisley Park on the back of it, and that makes me so happy. Because Paisley Park is literally the name of the home he lived in, and I fucking love Prince. I'm sorry, he is my favorite person in the whole wide world. But look at this. Look at this. Um, there's really no colors in here. I'm really 
drawn to. I probably won't even use this, I'm not gonna lie. But I love the packaging. I would honestly probably use this more than the other one, but I'll show you guys why I like the other one better. But this is more leans more towards the Goldie Neutrals. There's like three mats in here. That's a mat called Sexy Dancer. This is a mat which is Love to the Nines, and this is a mat which is so dark. But anyways, and I love the fact that it has Prince's insignia on it. I love Prince. I literally would make my boyfriend listen to Prince music all the time in the car. And I don't care. I have no shame with that. Prince is the best. Now I'm going to show you guys this one, which was the original one I bought. Because I was just going to buy one thing from this collection. But I decided I needed everything from the collection. Because I'm such a huge Prince fan. And I am such a huge makeup collector junkie. This is the other palette. It's purple and it's beautiful. And this is another one I probably won't use just because Prince. And I mean, like, When Doves Cry. Are you kidding me? That's one of my favorite songs. Raspberry Barrette, another one of my favorite songs. Like, I just can't. I can't. Like, I, I like the purple because of Purple Rain. That was his one of his most favorite songs. Like, famous songs, I think. But it's not very neutrally. But again, I don't know if I will use this or not. I'm actually um, going to watch Porcelain Cosmetics review on this because I know she did a review on this whole collection when it first came out. Because that's how I found out about it. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and post it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one then. Bye!